context. What is antibiotic uh, stewardship? So why do we have to actually uh, um, use the system as such? This is to avoid the emergence of multi-drug resistant organisms, okay? So this is a multi-system team approach that use that limits the inappropriate use of antibiotic and i hope you all know antibiotic is the most common drug which is misused in nicus okay and as you and as you we tend to misuse this drug okay and this has to be limited okay so limit inappropriate use of antibiotics then optimize the dose the duration and the route of therapy okay the dose is most important see everything every term in this sentence is most important you have to give appropriate either if you want to give you give the appropriate dose and the duration and the route of the therapy okay you have to choose it appropriately and it depends upon your endemicity your endemic organisms and if it is outborn then you have to use a if you are suspecting an outborn with a septic or baby then you have to use a broad spectrum antibiotic okay so and with most appropriate drug okay for a clinical condition which which site you are suspecting and what and what organism you are suspecting that is the most important uh, thing to determine which antibiotic to use okay so most appropriate drug has to be started not like randomly any drug to be started okay so now this once we have started this there has been it has been shown that there is 20 to 30 22 to 36 percent reduction of antibiotic use and and is associated with numerous clinical benefits so how do we do practice antibiotic I means uh, stewardship in an icu and reduce the microbial resistance avoid prophylactic antibiotics okay in severe asphyxia asphyxiated babies they are clean healthy babies just born in front of you no past history no pr om and you are not suspecting any infection please avoid you starting of antibiotic you appropriately treat the baby with oxygen and do whatever is required but not do not start just like that prophylactic antibiotics for those babies sorry for the um, wrong mistypings okay then neonatal jaundice please do not start on antibiotics premature babies no not all premature babies clean healthy premature babies do not require antibiotic any cesarean deliveries do not start exchange transfusion means a baby with neonatal jaundice requiring exchange transfusion please do not start on antibiotic okay do not start just like that okay and if you are starting an antibiotic without expense exception you have to do an blood culture obtain a blood culture and then start a antibiotic okay then if the blood culture is sterile after 48 to uh, 72 hours of incubation it is safe and appropriate to stop antibiotics just do not continue the antibiotics when there isn't any new any use okay it means if the baby is clinically stable no other complaints if you are still suspecting, see, so every time the blood culture may not be positive, I, uh, I agree with it. So if you are not suspecting any infection, please stop it, okay, if, uh, if the baby is stable. Then restrict the use of broad spectrum antibiotics on for hemperic therapies. Do not start on an, on an empiric basis. Do not start this broad spectrum antibiotics just like that, such as meropenem and those drugs are high-end drugs. Please do not start them directly. Then... CRP should not be guide for antibiotic therapy, okay? Antibiotic therapy, it is the clinical diagnosis, the history. First of all, the history gives you a very good, very good clue uh, regarding any infection. And the next one is clinical diagnosis. Not this, uh, not just, and blood culture. These are the uh, things which help in uh, uh, guiding you for antibiotic, not the CRP, okay? Then adopt and implement rational antibiotic policy uh -huh. i have another question uh, saying what is the drug of choice in staphylococcus aureus infection see if you are suspecting a methicillin sensitive staphylococcus aureus then the first line drugs such as uh, cephalexin uh, yeah sorry this is regarding an icu so we can go with amoxiclav okay amoxiclav is a very good choice but then if you are suspecting methicillin resistant then we go with 
uh, vancomycin. Okay, so these are the drugs which we, we can use. But methicillin sensitive drug, it is very much sensitive to the first line cephalosporins also. Okay. Uh, not really, it doesn't require, amoxiclav is a very good drug, okay? But not really, we need not go to higher end of antibiotics.